in this video and in the rest of the videos in this playlist we will be talking about the most important probability distribution out there which is the uh, normal probability distribution it's so important that if you can only take away two or three things from the course the uh, normal distribution should be one of them now a variable x which is normally distributed has the following probability density function so the PDF f of x is equal to 1 over sigma x times the square root of 2 pi times e to the negative 1 half times x minus mu of x divided by sigma of x all square where we have mu of x being the mean of the variable x sigma of x is the standard deviation of the variable x and then x is a normally distributed variable now we know that if we uh, plot the um, PDF we get the probability density curve right so let's go ahead and do that um, this is a very complicated function to plot, but if you can plot it, uh, it produces something that looks like this. So this is the probability density curve of a normal variable. Now let's talk about some facts regarding the uh, normal distribution. First off, the area under the curve, so the area under the probability density curve of a normal variable is equal to 1 and the two tail continue the two tails continue forever This implies that the uh, the variable x has no minimum value and no maximum value. Okay. Now the second fact is that the probability density curve of a normally distributed variable is symmetric about the mean
So what that tells us is that everything to the left of the mean looks exactly like everything to the right of the mean. So everything left of the mean mu x is exactly like everything right of the mean mu x. And then the uh, the third fact is what is known as the empirical rule. Okay. And this rule says that about sixty eight percent of the observations. within one standard deviation of the mean. Okay. Then about 95% of the observations are within two standard deviations of the mean and then about 99.7% of the observations are within three standard deviations of the mean. Okay. Now, about 99.7% of the observations, that's practically all, almost all of the observations. Okay. Now, uh, Graphically, you, you have something that looks like this. So if you have the um, probability density curve, okay. and if this is your mean, if we have one standard deviation here, so this is sigma x, this is sigma x. If you have sigma x here, and then sigma x here, and then another sigma x, right, and then another sigma x, then we have the following. This interval, right, so one, the interval one standard deviation away from the mean, contains about 68% of your office observations. The interval, there is two standard deviations from the mean, contains 95% of the observations. And then the interval, that is three standard deviations away from the mean, contains 99.7% or almost all of the observations. Okay. Now note that when we say 
within a given number of standard deviations away from the mean we were talking about being both smaller than the mean and greater than the mean right so as in the indicated in this in this figure so let's look at uh, an example so I'm gonna write my example uh, over here suppose we have a variable uh, X which is normally distributed so X is normal right? with mean of 400 and 40 and the standard deviation of 8 then we know that about 68 percent of the observations or about 68 percent of the observations are in the interval or are in the interval mu x minus sigma x and mu x plus sigma x right so this is the interval there is one standard deviation away from the mean if you plug the, the numbers in this is 440 minus 8 that gives you 432 and then this over here gives you 440 plus 8 that's 448 so about 68% of the observations are between 432 and 448. Similarly, uh, about 95% of the observations are in the interval that is three uh, there's two standard deviations away from the mean right so mu x minus two sigma x and mu x plus two sigma x so if you plug the uh, the numbers in this is 440 minus 16 that gives you 424 and then this is 440 plus 16 and that gives you 456 okay. so 95 percent of the observations are in are between 424 and 456 and then I'm not going to show you the math here but you should be able to show that almost all of the observations are in the interval four hundred and sixteen and four hundred and sixty four so almost all of the observations are going to be between four hundred and sixteen and four hundred and sixty four so in this video we talked about the um, normal distribution right we um, we talked about uh, the form of the of the probability density function. Then we uh, saw how the probability density curve looks like. Then we talked about the three facts regarding um, a normal distribution.